One of the most important questions we get from our clients is, what are the steps to avoid undesirable bubbles in mixtures of epoxy and polyurethane materials? So, for our clients to understand about degassing, we put together some basic steps to help produce bubble-free epoxy and urethane castings. Bubbles usually appear during the reaction or hardening process, and gases can be formed during the improper storage due to moisture contamination. Air can also infiltrate from improperly degassed resin or hardener. One of the key factors that affect the removal of gases is the viscosity of the mix. The higher the viscosity, the more difficult it is to remove the gases. Another factor is the temperature of the epoxy or urethane mix. Heating the material will reduce the viscosity. Be sure to consider the pot life and gel time before heating any mixed material. During hand mixing, degas each component containing fillers individually. Avoid violent motion during mixing and scrape the sides of the container to ensure proper mix. If possible, mix the components under vacuum. When topping up storage tanks, Take precautions. Slow, steady pouring will minimize air inclusion. If possible, degas the material in the storage tanks themselves. Please note, it is important to keep fittings, valves, and dispense pistons in good condition. Defective components will allow air to be sucked into the dispense lines. Cavitations and leaks are major sources of air inclusions. When it is time to pour, Pour slowly to allow the rising material to push the air ahead in order to minimize entrapment. And make sure that it is poured slowly into one corner of the mold or container. And for best results, pour with the least amount of turbulence. When we bring our clients into our facilities, we want them to feel very comfortable about what we do and also very secure about how to use our product.